Good morning guys, it's 9.14. I don't even know if this is gonna be the first vlog I did in a while. I have really bad hiccups, so sorry about that. Because I filmed a vlog two days ago and I started editing it and I don't even know if I can finish it. No, oh my God, because I've been just kind of kind of all over the place and busy. I was just able to upload another vacation vlog. I think that's gonna be the last one. I still have two more days, but like I really don't have time to edit them. Oh my God, this is really bothering me. So I'm not gonna stress myself out about that, but I'm gonna try to get the other vlog up like probably, <laughs> probably not today. I'll try to finish editing as, as most of it, as much of it as I can today. And maybe upload it like right before this one on the same day. I'm not sure. Sure, but I am vlogging today, yay. Oh, by the way, I worked so hard on that oh, back to school video, so hard on it. And that was the day I vlogged, this was the day I spent like most of my day editing it, but I had some updates and stuff. So we'll see if it goes up, let's hope so. Fingers crossed, oh my God. But anyway, I'll give you guys an update. Yesterday I didn't vlog because I first of all wasn't doing anything and I also was uploading the back to school video and just editing a lot and Zachary and I played catch with a hacky sack for a while. We finished watching Friends. We started Riverdale even though I already watched the whole season. It got like, it's won a lot of Teen Choice Awards and I told him how good it was and now he want, wanted to watch it and we watched the first three episodes. It was like midnight and Zachary was like, can we watch more? And I was like, Zachary, we gotta go to bed. Bet I'm exhausted. And today I have a friend coming over for the first time in forever. <laughs> nice little touch there. But I have a friend coming over today. I'm pretty sure she's coming at noon. I mean, that's what I texted her and I don't think she responded. But I'm gonna assume she's gonna come around noon. And Zachary and I are gonna continue watching Riverdale, I'm assuming. Zachary probably didn't go to bed until like two in the morning, realistically, and it's 9.17 right now. I've been up since nine, nine, what? Seven, oh my God. I'm so sorry, guys, I'm so freaking sorry. So, so yeah, that's what I have going on for today. I didn't really do much yesterday other than edit and watch TV and yeah. Oh, and I also have some exciting news. Oh, and also, oh, I can't get get my thoughts together. Yesterday, my parents and I were discussing, disgusting? I mean, we are disgusting, but we were discussing Playlist Live DC, because I might possibly, good chance that I'm going there this year in September, September 2nd and 3rd. It starts the first, but it doesn't start at night, and I can't go on the first, because I have school that day. But we might go for the weekend to Washington DC. It's only like a couple hours hour drive. It's not that far, which is good. And it's like a YouTube convention. I'm sure you guys know know what Playlist Live is. It's just like a YouTube convention with panels and meetups and all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, it's like a creator convention kind of thing. You can meet YouTubers and you can, I could be a YouTuber and I can meet YouTubers. I can go to panels. I can learn about YouTubers and what they do and all that kind of stuff. So that's a, a really cool opportunity for me. So we might possibly, probably go there if you guys are going there and you want to meet me. Hit me up. Just kidding. Just know I'll probably be there. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on my plans for that. The only thing is it's kind of hard to find hotels around there because the hotels that are like within walking distance of the the convention location, they're all fully booked. So the closest one I found with decent reviews and a decent price was like 10 minute drive or like half an hour walk away but i feel like i feel like that shouldn't be that big of a deal there's cabs and stuff but yeah i'll let you guys keep i'll definitely keep you guys updated on my plans for that so that's exciting and another exciting thing is that my mom said she's gonna continue to let me take kickboxing classes i don't think she's gonna keep taking them because it's it's just expensive but i really enjoy it and i want to keep doing it and it's a good way for me to get my aggression out you guys know i have a lot of that it's a good way for me to get some really good exercise and i need that and i really want to you know develop my muscles and get stronger and keep doing something that's healthy for me that i love to do so my parents are letting me continue taking classes we originally I got a Groupon for 10 classes and you know Groupons like they're really good discounts and then we were done with our classes and I was like but I want to keep taking them so my mom said she she's gonna give me a membership oh my god so I'm really excited about that okay I'm gonna go get some water to try to resolve these hiccups 
Okay guys, I figured out how I'm gonna get all caught up on videos. It gives me the, just the right amount of time before school starts to figure this all out. So, the vlog from the 21st that I haven't uploaded yet is gonna go up tomorrow, the 24th. And then I won't vlog tomorrow on the 24th. And then this vlog from the 23rd is gonna go up on the 25th. If that makes sense. So I'll have a, I'll still have a vlog every day, but because today and yesterday I was able to upload a vlogs that weren't filmed the day before. I mean, I uploaded the back to school video yesterday, and then today I filmed a Miami vlog. So I'm just trying to get all caught up here. So I filmed just a normal at home vlog on the 21st two days ago, and that's gonna go up tomorrow. And then I'm not gonna vlog at all tomorrow, so that I won't so that I won't be stressed out about uploading two videos on the 25th. So the vlog from today is gonna go up on the 25th. And then I will get back on schedule and then I'll be vlogging the 25th. It'll go up the 26th, 26th, 27th. And I'll be all caught up. So I figured it all out. I had to like really try to think like, wait, I know there's a day that I, I can't vlog to get all caught up. And so I had to like write it all down here, but I got it all figured out guys. <laughs> it will get back on track in a few days. <laughs> Copyrighted! I don't even oh. care. La 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 la. Watching Riverdale. Uh oh. Oh. Throw that boot down yeah. too. Yeah, I just said this. Raise the whole down. place. Send it to the junkyard. I'm a little shooketh right now. Do you want me to pause this while he goes pee pee? Yes. Zachary and I are playing catch with our happy sack, and he chucks it at me. It's the TV so hard. I hope my parents don't watch this. I'm so sorry. I mean, it was Zachary's fault, not mine. But he chucked. He chucked. I was over here, and he was back there. I chucked it. I'm so like triggered right now. He's already broken three TVs. But he don't need to break another one. Zachary, be careful. I thought I had broken five. What? Like when I was like when I was little. Here, here. Not, like, here. When I broke him like like a week before I broke in the third, I thought I broke five. Whoopsie. Nobody just didn't see. Alright, let's I just replaced it really fast. Let's con continue watching Riverdale. That was such good aim though. It is 11.56 and I just finished my breakfast because I didn't start until like 11.30. 11.15, 11.10, somewhere around that time. And uh, I had a little spillage incident, so I put a blanket here because I didn't want to sit. It was still kind of damp. It wasn't that wet, but it was damp. And uh, I kind of spilled water on my laptop, but I cleaned it all up and my camera, but I cleaned it all up and the couch. <laughs> Don't worry, I cleaned it all up. And uh, Zachary just kind of blew me off. Out of nowhere, he gets a call from Ryan and I feel like Zachary prioritizes, prioritizes him over me, even though he's our neighbor who is his friend who is older than him, and I'm his sister who has known him since he was born, but he prioritizes our neighbor over me every single chance that he gets to do that. Like, if there's an instance where he has to decide, like, you know, hang out with Zoe or hang out with Ryan, he always chooses Ryan, like, and... Anyway, in all my videos that I've talked about my social struggles, I feel like, I mean, like I said, I never feel like I'm a priority to anybody because I'm always, I'm always either the last resort or, like, somebody makes plans with me and then they make plans with someone else and after they've made plans with me, but they'd rather make, hang out with that other person. And now the same thing is happening with my own brother. So I really have no one now, which is just great. I'm gonna just try to smile through it, but no, I'm really hurting inside because this happens every time. I make a friend, or I make plans with a friend, or even my own freaking brother, I can't rely on to be there for me anymore. It used to be Zachary was the only one, and now I feel like there is no one, and that just makes me feel wonderful. And I made plans with my friend today, well, yesterday, to hang out today, and I texted her at like 7.30 last night. We were having a conversation, and then I texted her, like, she's like, I was like, what time? She's like, what time's good for you? I was like, I don't really care, noon, question mark? She never responded, and then I texted her at like 11. 30 I was like hey so what's the deal she never responded so I texted her like a half an hour later I was like already then and then she texted me at noon she, being like it's noon now she, she just texted me saying like oh I just woke up and I was like what I wake up at 7 every day how do you wake up at noon but whatever like I said I'm not a priority to anybody so that just makes me feel wonderful <laughs> I don't even know what the point of this ramble was but I guess the point is that no one prioritizes me 
I'm not gonna say that to complain. I'm saying that I always say this, but I'm saying that to raise awareness. I'm like being like, you know, don't do that to people. Like, first of all, you should prioritize your sister over your neighbor. I'm always gonna be his sister. They're not always gonna be friends. I'm always gonna be a sister. Why am I not a priority to him? Why am I not more important than him and Ryan? I don't, I don't get that, and I don't get why people would make plans with two people on the same day. First of all, and then make plans with me, and then make plans with someone else after they made plans with me, and then go hang out with them. I'm starting to get a little off topic here, but I'm just saying. I'm in a, a super cleaning mood right now. I feel like, I feel like lately, like I went to Florida for a week and then as soon as I got home from Florida, all I was doing with my life is sitting on this couch or on my bed editing videos. Like I haven't done anything else with my life. And I think today is a good day to take a little bit of, of a break from editing. I'll still edit tonight, but like, I had, I was spending all day, every day editing. <laughs> so I think I need to take a little break from that and do something else with my life. So I'm in like a super cleaning kind of mood. Cause like I haven't cleaned anything since before Florida and I've been doing nothing and I have nothing else to do other than edit and I need a little break from that. So I think I'm gonna work on some cleaning. I'm gonna start with the living room cause it's not that bad, but it's still a, a little bit. We still need to do a bit of tidying in here. So I'm gonna do that, watch some YouTube videos. I'm kind of relaxed, but like clean, so I'm being productive, but I'm being casual at the same time. It's a good balance. <laughs> I just turn on the camera and you hear, she is sick. Lunch break. We're going to the pool. I'm not going. I cleaned up the, the living room. I'm going to clean up the kitchen. I'm going to take my lunch break. Do you think she had one eye? Like that. Uh, Rachel's. That, oh, that girl's like, you have two eyes and you're eating your own shit. Right here, Evergreen Forest. Yeah. Zachary, you have bottoms on. Oh. Okay. Hey, all this stuff from your sister. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I wasn't there to help you. It's okay, Arch. You're here now. Oh my gosh! Get the camera on my face! Get the camera on my face! <laughs> you had a day with Val? Yeah. Something happened at work today. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Thought you'd be more prepared. Yeah, would rather I was watching the show. Here. You know, oh, you realize it's recording, right? Oh. It's so large. Has been for a long time. Good jobs. Few and far between. Hey! So important to me. Zack! Zack! I ain't going to get Sorry! Zack! Oh, can we watch the show now? No. Please? Close call, ready? I'm gonna give you a camera. Close call, ready? I'm gonna go over there. Oh! See, look, I'm not just gonna, like, do that, like, If you'll focus on my ugly ass face! That's gross. Don't help me. That's gross. I didn't help you. That's inset. Yep. See, this is what happens. Zachary comes in and hangs out with me until Ryan comes back. And then as soon as Ryan texts him, I'm back. He'll be like, okay, I'll be outside right away. So just completely forgetting about me, talking to me about it, or anything. I can't. 
stand it but anyway i got dressed just because, even though i don't plan on going anywhere or doing anything because my friend blew me off again and i'm not dealing with this anymore i'm so done with dealing with people blowing me off all the time so i'm just gonna i don't even know what to do i guess i'll just clean more in the kitchen and like the whole reason i turned the whole riverdale on was for zachary to watch it and if he's not here i'm not gonna watch it so i guess i'll just go clean the kitchen and i just got dressed just to feel a little bit of feel a little bit more motivated because lately like i haven't even been like getting dressed at all because i haven't done anything i have felt so lethargic unmotivated and just depressed so getting dressed kind of makes me feel a little bit more motivated wearing something they're nice clothes but they're still comfy clothes good balance i always say it's good balance but that's the kind of the goal of life is to balance it and everything that's a part of it so somebody just rang the doorbell let's go see who it is we look through the window first oh it's my neighbor's boyfriend okay so my my neighbor just dropped off or my neighbor's boyfriend just dropped off some chairs that they borrowed when we were on vacation uh one more lights like these lights are really cheap they're really cool but they're really cheap so they break a lot whatever they're inviting as i said in that vlog like oh my gosh that was in july that was so long ago but uh yeah i guess i'll just clean up the kitchen a little bit which could be dealt with a little bit yeah you know what i want to clean a little later i need to get out of the house i lately because i've been feeling so lethargic and lonely and depressed i haven't been wanting i haven't even been, like left the house i went like a week without really leaving the house like i probably went out a couple times to like starbucks and came right back but basically i wasn't even leaving the house i went to florida and then as soon as we got back in florida same routine just sat on my butt watched tv edited did nothing productive i need to go to kickboxing i really do i really need to do a workout because i'm really bad at making myself work out now because i've gotten to, into a routine where i haven't really ma made myself work out so it's a lot easier going to a class for me i mean i still should probably work out on my own so oh i keep telling myself i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do stuff and then i never do it which is really bad habit of mine i still haven't finished my book i'm not even close to finishing my book and school starts on monday and it's wednesday and i haven't worked out in the long longest time since before Florida and I'm just I'm all over the place and I feel like I should be doing stuff and I'm not doing it and it's stressful it's really stressful all right I really 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 need to get out of the house Zachary and Ryan went to the pool I really really don't want to go to the pool I really don't want to put a bathing suit on I really don't want to go swimming I don't feel like scrubbing my hair so I I guess I'll just go for a walk or something. I don't know. I haven't really seen my mom like all day until just like just now. She's like busy doing work and Zachary's hanging out with Ryan and I just I don't know what to do. Okay, I know this video has been a bit a bit of a rambly video, but I'm just telling you what I've been doing and I haven't been doing anything, so I'm trying to fill in the time with talking about stuff. And so I went outside for a little while and I didn't just kind of sat, I sat here for a little while because I was, just, like I said, I've just been feeling so down. So I, I now I'm just kind of planning out parties for some reason. I've been just, I just find it very therapeutic to write stuff, like whether it's to write diary entries. I mean, I do more video diary kind of things with these. Uh, but I, I like to write stuff down. I like to write down lists and stuff like what if I'm feeling down or like not knowing what to do or lonely or whatever I just write like, you know things that I want to get eventually my life goals things I want to accomplish wish lists um, planning things out writing I, I don't know writing party planning like planning for parties writing down video ideas and notes for the videos like writing down plots and characters for stories i want to write or make a movie out of writing down schedules i just like write down all this stuff i find it very therapeutic and it's a good way to kill time and you know what i guess it's productive to try to plan things out even though it hardly ever happens i always plan out these parties and they never happen but you know what maybe i should this year i should start or like next year 2018 or the end of 2017 just trying to actually make stuff happen because i always plan out stuff and then i never actually do it so maybe i should start actually doing stuff all right i'm gonna get back to my 
my Halloween party set up. Like I'm writing down like when I want to do it, who I want to invite, which I haven't figured out at all yet. That's why I posted on my Snapchat. Like hit me up if you want to, you know, if you would ever come to one of my parties. But only people that live around me because I know that some of my subscribers that don't live near me follow me on Snapchat and I, you know, obviously you guys can't really come to my parties. I don't really know, want my subscribers to know where I live. That's why like when I post kind of stuff like that, it's really meant for people like my classmates who know where I live. So yeah, there's just certain things that are meant for everybody and then just meant for people who live near me. So yeah, just understand that. And also understand guys that I, something I wanted to kind of discuss is that don't be offended if I don't follow you back on, or add you back on social media. I really don't, I don't do that for subscribers. It's just, that would be a lot. And I also don't want my subscribers to know like any of my personal information, like find anything out about my, I, I, you know what I mean? Like. I don't know how to explain it, but I real don't take it personally. I only follow people back on social media if I know them personally. Like if I go to school with them and I just I they live near me and I know who they are and I've met them. So don't be offended or don't take it personally if I don't follow you back on social media. I'm just saying. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to plant my party planning. Yay! <laughs> Oh, and also something I noticed is that I have really, I have really good handwriting, but if I don't write for a while, like during the summer, cause like I don't write a lot of stuff during the summer, then my handwriting starts to get like worse. So I, if you want to keep your handwriting neat, I suggest the more you write, the, the neater your handwriting will maintain. So I'm, I'm just gonna throw that out there. All right, time to clean the kitchen. Cause I've been wanting to do this for a while and I need a break. You know, I'm just kind of all over the place. I was just writing stuff down and literally like two minutes ago, I filmed that last clip. And now I'm like having such ADD and now I want to clean the kitchen. So let's do that. <laughs> I did the dishes, most of them. I didn't do a couple things here, which I don't feel like dealing with right now. And I reorganized some of the pantry. I reorganized like most of this stuff and I threw a bunch of old food out, which is good. And I reorganized this whole thing. I reorganized all the spices here, even though we have a spice rack over there. We have, we have, we just have a lot of spices. And here I organized, I have a lot of cans of black beans. I have one, two, three, four, five, six cans of black beans, a can of cannellini beans, garbanzo beans, lentils. I really need to use those. And I have some diced tomatoes, pumpkins, some soups, tomato paste. There's baked beans here, which I can't eat because there's bacon in them. Just a bunch of spices, and I made it so that you can see where all the spices are. And these were all, these are labeled, but they weren't like with, the spices weren't with their labels for some reason, so I fixed that. And you know what, I just feel, I feel really good right now. And because I can't stick to one thing and I keep having to do different things all over the place today, I'm gonna go edit a little bit because I want to get some of that done. <laughs> what the hell is <laughs> your Zachary, can you tell me why you decided to stick your bathing suit in the refrigerator? <laughs> it was a moment of thoughtlessness. <laughs> oh, oh, one moment of your life. Yeah, you like when I poured the orange juice in the bowl. <laughs> oh, Zachary has a lot of moments of thoughtlessness. <laughs> like when I come home and I almost pulled down my pants. Like come up. I put <laughs> oh, and when Zachary shoved his butt in my face and I saw his testicles. One. Scarring. A singular testicle. That sounds like a book. But he didn't realize that it was uh, popping out. That sounds like a book, a singular testicle. <laughs> You're pregnant off a singular testicle. We're gonna go get the Starbucks because I haven't uh, gone out Yo. Today. You are so freaking loud. Michelle Blossom. And we're gonna come back here after we get Starbucks and my mom's gonna drop us off. We're gonna continue watching Riverdale and she's gonna go to the store and yeah, all that shit. Yeah. Zachary and 
I had forgotten something very vital. Can you guess what it is? Leave me a comment. I'll give you five seconds to guess what we for what we forgot and what we just retrieved. I wanted you One. just I wanted you just to like me like opening the door and like just like sprinting out. I wanted you to not say anything. You're like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> it was Albert. Here's Zach. Did you know we got the anecdote? Put, put him out the window. Put him out the window. What? Did you know we got the anecdote? I'm like Michael Jackson. Yeah, okay. I'm like Michael Jackson. <laughs> well, you know I'm fucked up nose. Hey. 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 Did you see it, Albert? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Sorry. Woo! Jesus Christ, Mom. It was a last minute decision. Oh, okay. Ow. white chocolate frappuccino, cream frappuccino, with 10 pumps of white mocha, 5 pumps of vanilla, vanilla bean, 8 vanilla bean powder, vanilla powder, add ice, <laughs> extra whip. You taste it, he's never tasted the white chocolate before, so try it. Is it good? Is that your new favorite? Zachary, Zachary's experimented with a lot of frappuccinos. You smell like this. <laughs> One out of ten. I can't drink that. That has milk in it. What? Nine point five. I'm oh, cool. That's pretty good. What'd you do? Threw it. <laughs> you threw what? You just chucked that off the deck. I really wish I would have recorded that. I forgot Albert in the car. No, it's right on the couch. It's right on the couch. Really? Yeah, he's right here. Yeah. Look, it's Morb. <laughs> Say it. It's Morb. <laughs> it's Morb. That's actually Ethel, but it's the same actress, so she. That's Morb. It's Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished watching Riverdale. I'm trying to get this ball in his mouth, but I failed every time. Every time you, you <laughs> do a bad throw, I'm just throw it at the camera. No. I miss. <laughs> Please don't break my camera. I don't. I really don't want to break this. All right, ready? Ooh. Zach! I don't want to break this camera. Do you know what time it is? Zachary, I don't want. By the way, what's the time? Ten forty-seven. I don't want to break the camera, Zachary. Seriously, this is really expensive. Fine. Hey, that was not that bad. And I showed Zachary the season two trailers. Please go watch Riverdale if you haven't already. If you have Netflix. It's not only on Netflix, it's on the CW. The CW app. Because it's a CW <laughs> show, it's not a Netflix show. Oh. You thought it was a Netflix original series? Nah. No. No. <laughs> Stranger Things and 13 Reasons Why were, which are, you know, go go into that category, I guess. I don't want to watch 13 Reasons Why, too. You don't? There's another one. 
There's a season two coming out in oh. 2018. Oh, I didn't know that. Why do you think Ross Butler's not on Riverdale anymore? Because he decided to go with 13 Reasons Why instead. He couldn't do both. No. You 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 were you were basically <laughs> inviting me to do that, bro. I was farting. You were fa oh, great. Well, oh, by the way, I posted a blog. I was like, this is my homie Boney because you could see your bones popping out of your skin. What? I you bent down in the ocean in Miami and you could see oh. all the bones in your back and I said, this is my homie Boney. Let me see it. This is a joke, by the way, because people are so fucking sensitive. Your fucking mouth one. Oh my god, I'm sorry. You broke my bed. We did. Our beds are both already broken, so. Fucking A. Ross Butler. What a basic name. Fucking A. <laughs> fucking AIDS. I've been having so many, like, I I've been, you know. Breathe, so many Rosses lately. Ross Geller, Ross Lynch, Ross Butler. Ross Lynch. Yeah, because he was rumored to play Benny's long lost brother. Jake yeah. Paul was a fucking big rumor. Fake news. <laughs> Zach! I'm sorry. I'm gonna end oh, this. Geez. This is probably really boring. <laughs> we just got it and I didn't record it. Zachary. <laughs> Zachary. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Yay! Ah, fetch. Okay, bye. No. Okay, it's 10.56. I've gotten a lot of footage for today. Uh, I'm tired. I need to f edit a vlog. And my battery's about to die. So for all those reasons, I'm gonna end today's video here. If you'd like to give it a big thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video and my channel to those that you think might be interested and leave me comments down below. I have to ask that group. What comment they got? I already said goodnight to him, but I need his help. Need your help with the comment of the day. Um, is your favorite, what's, what's your favorite flavor? Flavor. Favorite flavor of yogurt. Zachary, I'm a vegan. Yogurt. 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 Like, can we not talk about yogurt? Can we just do favorite flavor? You know, there's chocolate, there's vanilla, there's How mint. How about your fl there's favorite mint. Fake flavor? How about your favorite flavor? Like, blue raspberry. Like, yeah. And, like, <laughs> strawberry. It's not a Oh, banana. like, artificially flavored stuff. Like, watermelon. <laughs> yeah. Strawberry. Like, like, like airheads flavor. <laughs> Like, you know, you know. White mystery. Yeah. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. Bye.